It's your man, Jay Graves, and welcome to the Jay Graves Report College Football Weekly Wrap-Up, Week 11. Y'all know how we get it in, so let's get it in. What did I leave you with on Thursday? I said, don't think for one minute that all four teams are going to go undefeated. Top four teams will not be undefeated at the end of the season because it is college football, and like I always say, the playoffs start week one. When, that, when it's that type of pressure on teams, you know boys are going to fall apart. Hey, and that's what we saw. We saw number 15, Texas A&M and Johnny Football, show up in Tuscaloosa and roll the tide 29-24. Unbelievable ball game, instant classic, bro. Hey, Texas A&M came in, riding on 24s, bumping that MC Breed and Tupac, I got to get mad and went in there and took care of business. Johnny Football looked like Joe Montana in a ski jacket over the weekend, bro. Hey, I've been saying all year that the Alabama second day was suspect. Now, I will say that early in the season, I thought that Tennessee was the only team capable of beating them because they could throw the football. Tennessee didn't have no guts, couldn't go out there and get it done. LSU last week exposed them. But I've been saying all year that the second day was suspect. Now, I'd be lying if I thought, if I said that Johnny Football was going to go out there and put up 200 and some yards in the air and 93 on the ground. Didn't think that was possible. Hey, but he did effectively throw the ball and beat that defense in second day. Now, what happened to Alabama? Boys got carjacked. What happened? Most accidents happen within five miles of the crib. Alabama got close to the crib. They coming down the stretch, stopped at the light, let the window down, threw the arm out, and boys came up and stole all the jewelry off of them, bro. I, I'm just saying, Alabama is shot at this point. Only way Alabama gets back in the hunt is if everybody at the top loses and they beat Georgia in the SEC championship. So we got to have at least two of these guys Notre Dame, Kansas State, or the Parliament Funkadelic in Oregon have to lose a ball game in order for Alabama to get back in the hunt. Because if Notre Dame, Oregon stay undefeated, or Kansas State, it's dull. It's a wrap. Let's move on to the next ball game. Oregon State, number 11, goes to Stanford out of Palo Alto. Hey, both of these teams were rolling. You had Oregon State with 71. We were getting ready for the huge climax at the end of the season with Oregon in the Civil War. They came out to dug on Palo Alto and was dull at the end of the ball game. They won the turnover, uh, turn, turnover margin 4-1, to one, but the turnover that they had with five minutes left in the ball game cost them the ball game. They went down, lost the ball on, the, on their own 29-yard line, and Stanford popped it in. Now they're still alive in the big in, in the in the Pac-12 North. Now let's move on. Let's go back to the SEC. Georgia, number five, goes to the Tumas Corner and plays Gene Chizik and Company. Now let's keep it real or all the way 100, whichever comes first. You know Gene Chizik and his staff have already checked out. I mean, if they're rumoring right now that they're going, to hire, they're going to fire these guys at the end of the season. If you were rumored to be fired, you'd be looking for another job, bro. You, it, these guys aren't watching film. They aren't game planning. They out there playing street ball at this point. They, they out there drawing, drawing plays in the sand, dude. They, they got boys running the Uncle Willie's car and turning left. You got to keep it real or all the way 100 or don't even talk about it, bro. Now, let's move on to the next ball game. Number 21, Mississippi State goes to Death Valley and plays LSU, the same LSU that lost a heartbreaker the week before. So you know they was going to unleash Mike the Tiger on Mississippi State. Why? Because Mississippi State is Mississippi State. Let's move on to the next ball game. Number four, Notre Dame goes to Chestnut Hill and plays Boston College. Now, I was worried about Notre Dame in this ball game going in simply because the last two times Notre Dame were undefeated this late in the season, in 1993, they were 10-0. In, in 2002, they were 8-0 and, and got beat by Boston College. But Boston College was dull this year. They 2-7. and 
They can't, Notre Dame came in there, took care of business, 21-6, did what they were supposed to do. Now, let's look, let's look forward. What I'm blown away by today is the fact that all the dumb media still trying to get Alabama in the national championship. Duh, they've lost the ball game. Have you seen Alabama's schedule? If you haven't seen that schedule, go and look at it. They've been playing the the schedule. They played the Michigan, the Western Kentucky, Arkansas, John L. Smith's Arkansas, Missouri, Mississippi, Mississippi State. They got Western Carolina next week. They've only played two ball games, bro. And the two ball games they played, they lost one of them. They played LSU and they played Texas A&M and lost. Don't try to put Alabama in the game on hype alone. Now, I will say, if Alabama goes to the SEC championship and beats Georgia and either two of those undefeated teams in Kansas State, Oregon, and Notre Dame lose, then you put Alabama back in the game. But don't try to put the fix in and hype them up and talk about a one-loss SEC because the one-loss SEC with that schedule is dub. The only one-loss SEC team that should be in if all those dudes lose is Georgia if Georgia beats Alabama. Holla at your boy. It's your man, Jay Graves, from the jgravesreport.com, or you can hit me up on Twitter at jgravesreport and holla at your boy.